Hello everybody and welcome to Key Cam and the Fam. And guys, today, today I am making potato salad. So I told you guys we're getting ready to start our holiday cooking. So today we're going to do potato salad. We have six white potatoes cut up. We have three stalks of celery, one spot, one small onion. We have three eggs. We have our bell pepper. I have kosher pickles as well as sweet pickles, mustard, black pepper, onion powder, and I have mayonnaise, Helmet. So we've already started cutting our onion and our celery. So now we're getting ready to cut up. And as you can see, I'm, I, I like a crunchy potato salad. I like a crunchy and a chunky potato salad so we already have this cut up I'm getting ready to take you guys over to the stove because we're getting ready to boil our potatoes we're getting ready to boil the two the three eggs so guys I'm dry oh I'm sorry Key. Okay. so I'm dropping all of my potatoes in when you cut the potatoes like this they actually cook faster And remember, we're making potato salad, not mashed potatoes. I know a lot of times people will cook their potatoes so long and they so mushy. I don't like that. Now we're adding in three eggs. So we're going to let those potatoes cook about 20 minutes and we're going to let the eggs cook for 20 minutes. And I'll bring you guys back. Okay, so guys, we're getting ready to cut up our pickles. And remember, I told you all I use kosher pickles and sweet pickles. Oh, that's a big one. The lid is sanitized, by the way. Everything's sanitized in this house. Of course. That should be enough pickles because I got to do the sweet pickles too. And we love our chunky potato salad. Yes. Okay, these are the sweet pickles. With these rest of these pickles being key baking us a Kool-Aid pickle. I'm mm -hmm. key. Okay, so we're gonna put these over there. And every time I cut, I'm pushing those, I'm pushing the other vegetables that way. Because when you cut it up like this right here, it makes it so quicker. You know what I'm saying? When you slice mm -hmm. it, it makes it easy to cut up. So, yeah, that's what I do when I make potato salad. No, when I ask you to cut up the stuff for the potato salad, you always get bad. Huh? Uh-uh. Yes, you do. Not me. Excuse me? No, sir. Not me. Okay. So, we go. I'm going to push that down. So, this is what we do. Y'all keep, like, keep be lying. Got all our pickles cut up except the little pickle and I will bring you guys back okay guys it's been exactly 15 minutes but I'm looking at these potatoes and they're already starting to they're break they're starting to break apart so I know now that they're ready 
to come out of the water. I'm going to take them out of the water and I'm going to let them cool off for probably about 20 minutes because I don't want to heat up my celery and bell peppers, onions and everything. So as you can see, the potato, I mean, I'm sorry, the fork is going in real easy. So you know they're ready. And I'll bring you guys back once the potatoes cool off. Okay, guys, so I'm just slicing up my egg. And remember, we use three eggs. Okay, so now we're going to bring in our potatoes. So these are our potatoes. And we just taking the wooden spoon and we just chunking it up. Because I don't want it, I don't want to whip it. I told you guys I love chunky potato salad. That's why I put so much in my potato salad. I do not like potato salad that reminds me of mashed potatoes. There is a difference. Okay. So we're going to move these potatoes around. This is good enough. They're not hot. Actually, they're like room temperature. And I actually love cold potato salad. So, okay. So the first thing we're going to add in is our onions, celery, and pickles, and bell peppers. Everybody remember that? Okay, so these are the sweet pickles. We put all of this in. That's a little bit too big. Okay. So now we're adding in our bell peppers. And as you add them in, if you see something that needs to be cut down, cut it. Because once you add all of this stuff in here, you are not going to go back through this and cut anything down. It's just not. So now we're getting ready to add in our celery. And this, remember that small onion we cut up? Okay. See, like pieces like this, if you're catching this too big, don't just put it in there. Okay, I got you. Okay. So, add all that in. Like those big pieces of celery, we'll eat all. I'm sure you will. Okay, so we're gonna mix all of this in. Okay, so now we're 
now we're going to add in the eggs. Remember that big piece? He still think he get in. Let's put them over there. Okay. Okay, we got all of this mixed in. Okay, so now we use our Hellman's. This right here, this Hellman's, to me, it makes the best, the best potato salad. Okay, let's get a spoon. Let's rinse it off. Yeah. That's one, and that's two. So we're going to mix this in. This smells really good. And if you're the type that like to put a little sugar in, you can. Sometimes I do it and sometimes I don't. I have to be honest with you. I think in Chicago, we like a lot like a, a vinegar, vinaigrette flavor to our stuff. I think it's a Chicago thing. I really do. So we're going to add in just a little more mayonnaise and that should be enough before I mix that in I have my mustard and you don't want to add a whole lot of mustard and I just do this this is the time that you would take your black pepper Not a whole lot. Some people add garlic powder in. I don't add garlic powder in. It makes you sneeze. Oh, okay. And this uh, mustard, it gives a really good tang. It really do. So if you're the type like us that like a little salt, this is the time that you would add your salt in. And onion powder too. Just a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of onion powder. Oops, all side. Okay, so we're gonna put a little bit of onion powder in. Just a little bit. Okay, and I can look at it just the way it's looking, I can look at it and tell that I don't have enough mustard in. So we're going to open up the mustard again. And we'll add a little more mustard in. And... Some people use white vinegar. I don't use white vinegar. I add a little bit of my pickle juice in. Okay, I'm going to call my husband over here, and I'm going to ask him to taste this for me. This is the mayonnaise spoon. <laughs> I don't need no more black pepper or anything. It's perfect. Okay. 
My husband says it's not missing anything. We're gonna let the camera lady taste this. That's good. Let me get another spoon. No, you don't need another spoon for. And guys, this is my potato salad. And what I do, whatever bowl I'm gonna serve this in, then I'll sprinkle a little paprika on top of it. And that's it. So this is my potato salad. I hope you guys try this recipe. It's simple, it's quick, it's good. And it's, in, and it's very inexpensive too because everybody should have mayonnaise and egg and mustard and black pepper and everything in the house so guys thank you so much for watching please like share and subscribe and we will see you guys in the next video i am dropping cooking videos until wow until monday so this is my potato salad Yay.